community feedback. Ben, we've been getting some really great comments on the Element 14 community and our subspaces about our new builds. Okay. So I wanted to show you some about the mini pinball kit. All right, let's look them up. So one of our members was wondering, mm -hmm. is it worth it to make some very thin recesses on the table and make the ball change its trajectory, like big planets affecting small objects? And so I was a little confused at what he meant, um, and so someone chimed in, like, do you mean like scores marked into the play field? So it would be like ditches that the ball could potentially fall into. Have you ever seen that in a pinball game before? Um, no, except for maybe Orbiter 1 from Stern, the old Stern. Mm -hmm. That thing had a whole vacuum formed play field and actually was a space theme. So the ball oh, would cool. like make all these crazy orbits. That sounds cool. Although it's really hard to play. I mean, really the thing that makes the ball change trajectory is like when it hits something or it goes around a loop mm -hmm. or it goes up a ramp. Uh, like a, a divot in the play field wouldn't do a whole lot and worse, it might trap the ball. Why don't you use a timer library for timing the PWM and the bouncing? I would recommend to you the Arduino Soft Timer Library as I believe it can do a decent job in time sensitive situations like this. And not just because I wrote the library. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh no, he went back and realized that it wouldn't work because- Sorry, oh, I have- Uh oh, sorry, I have just realized that the PCI manager library used by Soft Timer I have recommended will not work on Teensy. This means debouncing definitely will not work out of the box. Darn. Debouncing is when you uh, look at a switch and you ignore the uh, fluctuations in the state change. Because oh. it can be like, you can like move a little bit. Mm -hmm. it, it doesn't just go from like zero to one. There's like a little bit of oh. hysteresis in there. Nice. Thanks for the suggestion on the timer library. Uh, I think I'll probably just use variables for now, but We'll keep this in mind for future projects. Here's another one. Let's see. Please look at the mechanics for the mini play field in Stern's Family Guy slash Shrek. It's actually the same game. They wanted a, a kid friendly game. Mean. Yeah. Family Guy Stewie mini play field. Oh yeah, there's like a little mini pinball machine in the upper oh, right cool. hand corner I like of those, those games. Ones. They're using the same five eighths ball and I've already solved the same problems you've encountered. My concern is that by changing the flipper angle from 30 to 15 degrees, you won't be able to execute a proper bounce pass. Oh, hmm. sounds like he's an experienced pinball player. Yeah, definitely. Huh, well, hmm, that's a good point. However, I don't necessarily think this thing is meant for like competitive play, but uh, you don't really see Family Guy or Shrek that often. I've only ever mm. seen a Shrek pinball machine once, so that it's not really easy to test. We'll take a look at that geometry and make it work as well as possible with our game. Thanks for all your comments about the mini pinball build. Keep them coming on the mini pinball subspace on the Element 14 community on element14.com forward slash tbhs.